morning and thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Good Work Southwest Florida. I'm your host, Kayla Bornell, and today in studio I have some amazing guests here with us. How are you guys? Doing great. Great. And if you can just tell us a little bit about yourselves and um, what you're here today to represent. Well, my name is Van Ellison. I'm the president of St. Matthew's House, and we're a not-for-profit that's been in the community. Um, today, actually, is our 26th anniversary, wow. uh, serving the community and making a difference in the lives of of the poor and the less fortunate in our community. Awesome. My name is Matt Sonneborn and I'm the principal trumpet of the Naples Philharmonic. But when I'm not doing that, I'm spending lots of time, as my family can attest, to putting on this race, the Gobble Gobble Four Miler for St. Matthew's House in 95210. Can you tell me a little bit about St. Matthew's and the type of work that you all are doing in the community? Right. Well, St. Matthew's House started back in 1988 as a feeding ministry. Mm -hmm. um, feeding woods people and the poor and the homeless. And uh, very quickly we started as a shelter and it's grown into now having a shelter for men, for women, for women with children, for families that are really broken and on the streets. We've also developed a long-term drug and alcohol recovery program. And on any given night, we'll be serving over 300 people in our facilities. Um, we're, we're serving close to 400,000 prepared meals uh, to the people of our community. Um, that really are desperate for, for that hand up and that opportunity to change their lives. Wow, so y'all are doing a lot of busy work here. It's crazy busy yeah, anymore. Yeah, cool. And can you tell me a little bit about the Gobble Gobble Four Miler? I know that is on Thanksgiving Day, and um, can you tell me just a little bit about that and why you chose for it to be on Thanksgiving and also how others can get involved with the Miler? Absolutely. I have a website, and it's Gobble Gobble Four Miler, all spelled out, dot com and I can always use volunteers. It's a great family event. There's a one mile, there's a four mile, there's a walk, there's a competitive run, there's a little gobbler's dash for the kids. Mm -hmm. Still in diapers, some of them. Uh, just a little 100 yard dash. So we've really made it non-intimidating, just lots of fun down at Venetian Village. And you can show up, um, you can register online at that link. And I saw the pictures from the website, there's people who dress up and who come <laughs> all decked out in their Thanksgiving gear. What do you think about that? Well, we have a little costume contest just to keep it fun. You know, this is all about family and having a lot of fun together and creating some memories. Perfect. And why, do, why did you choose Thanksgiving for the actual date? Well, we're giving back. It's a green event. It's giving to charity. It's just about being together and about being a family. And it's a tradition all across the country. Perfect. And can you tell me about how this four mile will benefit St. Matthews and kids on the go? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. 100% uh, of the net proceeds go to the charities. And there's also a way, uh, I have a fundraising challenge, so I encourage anyone to, to go ahead and compete. We'll have a prize for the top fundraiser, Chef uh, Jubinville from St. Matthews Catering, has offered to cook in your house along with Brian Rowland and uh, David Robbins. And um, really, it's just a fantastic way to give to those mm -hmm. charities. All the money goes to them. Perfect. And can you tell me the proceeds that are going to come from the Miler? How will mm -hmm. it benefit St. Matthews? Well, <clears throat> this is one of the, the big events of the season for us. It starts off the season. If you think about the way the economy and things work here in Collier County, most of the summer months, the early fall, is a struggle for businesses. And the not-for-profits are kind of the same way. And as we launch into the Thanksgiving and the holiday season, what happens with the Four Miler is it gives us an infusion of funds. Um, there's food that's always donated at that event. And those things are really essential. Our pantry shelves are usually bare by the time Thanksgiving's rolling around. And so this is a great way to bring attention to the need in the community to feed the less fortunate. And you know, we're feeding hundreds of families each week with the groceries that are donated by various groups. And this event is, um, over the last few years, there have been times when coming into Thanksgiving week, we've been desperate. I mean, it's really a lean budget, and, and the funds that have been generated through this event have gone a long way to help meet the needs and make sure that the bills are paid and families are cared for and lives are transformed through the goodness of our community. I, I love the fact that it's, that's kind of the way Thanksgiving started, people rejoicing over the goodness that they had been given the bounty of the land for, through God's provision, through friendship, and as people celebrated getting through the, the rough months and the rough times and the bounty of the harvest. Well, we're still doing that. We do it a little differently since we're not working on farms and hunting so much, <laughs> but 
um, through the efforts of people getting out there sweating and working and, and celebrating family and just rejoicing together and giving back. Wow, and it sounds like a great event for family mm -hmm. and friends and just to go towards an amazing cause. I know with the holiday season coming up, can you tell um, our, our viewers a little bit about um, the type of programs that you have? I know Thanksgiving is right around the corner next week and Christmas is coming up and New Year's mm -hmm. and, and like you said, there's a great need for people in the community who may not right. have. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys have planned coming up? Well, we do a big uh, Thanksgiving turkey giveaway um, we had uh, yesterday. Uh, Capital Wealth Advisors gave us a thousand turkeys. All the fix-ins, additional turkeys and products are given to us this year so that we're signing up families that have a need, if it's families with minor children or with the elderly or the disabled, and we're providing resources so that families can celebrate together. You know, one of the key factors that's found in, st in stability of a family uh, and raising kids right is having, creating memories, uh, eating together, and most of us, when we think back about our childhood, we think about uh, some of those big holiday events, getting together with grandma and all those things, and there are poor families who struggle just to get by. And this year in Collier County, we expect we'll probably help a thousand families with the resources that they need. On Thanksgiving Day, we'll be preparing several, um, <clears throat> several turkeys, actually probably about a hundred, to feed as many as a thousand people on Thanksgiving Day. At our Naples facility, we'll be feeding people um, that evening as well in LaBelle and in, um, in the Mockley. And so all those donated goods are going and, uh, to make that impact on the community and help the less fortunate. Uh, what's really exciting to us is every day is kind of a social event. We have groups that volunteer. We had started several years ago a group of, of ladies. One of them had such problems with arthritis they couldn't play golf anymore. Mm -hmm. So they started coming down and volunteering. Uh, once a week, instead of a golf outing, the little group of eight women would can't come and volunteer and socialize and have a great time making a difference in our thrift stores. And so this is the time of the year where a lot of our winter guests are coming back, or uh, r winter residents. And so we're seeing groups come in and every day kind of becomes a fundraiser, becomes a social event and a way to relate together and make a difference in the world around us. Wow, and, I, and I'm amazed that y'all guys are doing it right here in our very own community, and that's so important. And if you wanna just tell me, um, both of you guys, um, how other people can get involved with the four, four mile, with the gobble gobble four miler, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. with volunteering and then volunteering at St. Matthew's, how can um, our viewers reach you and connect with you and mm -hmm. you know get involved? All the information for the gobble gobble is on the website, but directly uh, gobble gobble four miler at gmail.com is the email you can you can write me mm -hmm. um, and other than that you know it's just great to see everybody come out and, and have a good time even if you're not going to participate we got pie from Whole Foods at the end they so graciously given to us for the past five years and mm -hmm. uh, it's just a lot of fun awesome. yeah. and for us uh, you know st. Matthews house dot org it's just st Matthews m a t t h e w s house dot org is our website, or then call 774-0500. Um, ask for a volunteer coordinator, and they'll kind of get, get people plugged in and get them involved. And it really is, every week we have new volunteers coming to get engaged, and there's ways to help out in the feeding ministry, and our thrift stores, and our shelter operations. There's just so many ways people can get involved. And you know, today is the 26th anniversary of a group of folks coming together and feeding the first few folks. As St. Matthew's House formed 26 years ago today, it was re really out of the abundance of their own lives that they said, we need to give back to the less fortunate. And, and what a great way to get involved in the community is to say, you know, I've played enough golf, I've visited enough doctors, now I need to make a difference. And so a lot of times we see some seniors, some kids, there's, there's kids groups that come down and get involved. And there's always projects and one day events and and we love those volunteers who commit to coming down every week. So uh, this is the time of the year to, to roll up your sleeves and get involved. Perfect, and well, you guys heard it first. There's a lot of volunteering opportunities. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen, and thank you also for the great work that you're doing right here in our own community. For more information on the event, go to www.gobblegobble4miler.com. And up next, we'll have editor Brandy Broxton to talk to us about what's coming up in the journal. But first, take a look at these few photos from Bacon Fest.